All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a beginner's tutorial for Logic Pro's new Sample Alchemy. It's an absolutely amazing tool. And this video, we're not gonna be diving into every little in and out of Sample Alchemy. It would take so long to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at a very high level and I'm gonna cover how to use this in the context of an actual pro sounding production, which is I think probably what a lot of you are wanting to do. So. Um, before we jump into that, I do want to let you know we have a group called Song Chasers that is specifically created for creating community and support and training for aspiring music makers and songwriters. If you're interested in that, check it out. Check out our website, fullcirclemusic.com. So let's go ahead and jump in on Sample Alchemy. This is what it looks like. Um, obviously, you just, well, maybe not so obviously, you, you, you load it up just like any other plugin. You hit stereo. There are actually a couple ways to get sounds into Sample Alchemy. And at its core, what is so amazing about Sample Alchemy is it allows you to create new original sounds out of other sounds. Now, you, they can be sounds that you record. They can be sounds that you get on Splice. They can be sounds that are built into logic. Uh, they can be sounds in your session that you can manipulate. So I'm going to focus on three different types of sounds that you can create. And the first being a pad sound, which are very essential for any big pop music production. Um, and I'm going to focus on a pluck sound that, that's something that you can use as an arpeggiator or give you a little bit of rhythm. And the other probably most important sound that you'll want to use is just a a melody, a melodic, like a synth lead or uh, any type of a lead. And the great news is it is so easy to get going. So this is essentially how you do it. So let's, uh, I'm going to delete this and then just show you how you might in theory go about doing it. There are a couple ways of doing it. I'm going to first of all start by, uh, this is the song that I'm working with here. People do this every day, make it look easy to walk away. So this is a song that I wrote a few months ago, just using this as an example song with uh, Hilda Stenmalm. So one way that you can get started, it's super easy. You just take any little clip of audio that's on your region. I've just made a little slice of this. I can drag it over here and I can just, this comes up right here, you'll click Sample Alchemy. And it will automatically create a track. And as you can see, these little circles that come up, you get up to four different sources. And this is how you work with it. Each of the sources has a ton of different settings. It has a synthesis mode, which affects the way that it sounds. It has this source uh, button where you can drag it around. And it has multiple modes of how you can trigger a sound as well too so there's the classic which is literally just if you want to play a sound on a piano you just just like that you could do chords of course pretty pretty cool um, you can use the loop mode which lets you grab a section of it and even lets you reverse it too which is super fun if you go like that so you can go make some really interesting you can set the loop speed down here I mean even just like you just doing that in and of itself is crazy um, there's a scrub mode which grabs one small piece of the audio and just tr loops it into infinity basically and this is what we are gonna base our pad sound around is this scrub mode now, my biggest piece of advice, how to use Sample Alchemy if you're just getting started, is to treat it like any other source, any other software instrument, any other instrument, and be using it in combination with other plugins, things like reverbs, things like delays. Right now, I'm just using Valhalla Reverb. I just pulled up a, uh, a standard Logic tape delay, and so using it is going to make it just sound, it's just going to sound more finished. Just already, that's like such a usable sound. And the other thing that I, I always enjoy doing, and for modern music production, this is such a huge piece of the, uh, the sound, is literally just using filtering. So like even just doing that is gonna create
like that all that automatically sounds really really usable so the all basically take any sound put it in scrub mode find a spot where you like the sound so right there is a nice clean spot like right here it'd be in between notes so it's not going to be as usable for a pad you want to sound fine where it's like a single note and it's nice and clean that you can just grab and then what I would encourage you to do for a pad is just turn the attack down. This is the attack, de decay, sustain, release. There's our pad right there. And then what I might do with the pad is, you know, this is a this is just a production trick. And the, the good news is, is a lot of these production tricks are so simple. You don't have to be a music genius to do it. You can literally just hold the one and the five over top of the chorus. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. It just adds so much bigness and wideness. Maybe, I'll have the Maybe add, add a couple of the other notes to it. So we created that pad sound literally just out of her voice. And it it's, it's a great ear candy. It's a great lifter for the chorus. So we'll call that our pad. So that's essentially, in a nutshell, how we would do a pad. Let's talk about doing an arpeggiation. And I'm going to show you another way that you can load up Sample Alchemy. That was one way. was just clicking and dragging over onto the header part. Another way is you can load it up just like you would any other plug-in. And then you can click and drag an audio sample into this little window. You can either do it from the... Um, from from a, a track that you already have, or you can use a loop browser sound. So let's just listen through some of these things here. Haha, <laughs> let's take this. this. This is gonna be fun. This is an ambulance siren. This is what I love. You can just take all kinds of sounds. And in fact, I did another video where I was staying at the Hampton Inn and I made an entire song out of found sounds that I went around and recorded in the hotel using my iPhone and then loaded it all in. So check that video out as well. So let's just drag this around until we find... Let's see, scrub. Okay, so this is cool. It's got an arpeggiator mode too for, for the sake of what we're doing here. I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my attack down. I'm going to turn my, uh, uh, my decay and my sustain down. Maybe the d decay just up a, a touch. Yeah, there we go. And then I love their little cutoff because it just it, 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 it shaves off a lot of the high end. Okay, so there's our there's our bass key basically. And then what I like to do with plucks is I like to um, you know, similarly to what I, I, I did before, I'll run it through some reverb. And then another really fun way to manipulate the sound is just run that after the reverb through a distortion. Like that is just such a cool and inspiring sound already. And if you want to go a level further, throw a little modulation on it, throw a little, uh, throw a little chorus on it, and, and that's always a fun way to just widen it out. So I can go in here and I can add this over top of the chorus. You can sometimes use these as like a downbeat, where it's almost like a crash cymbal, but it just gives some impact to when the chorus kicks in. So I'll show you what I mean. Got a little latency going on here for some reason, but um, no problem that I cannot fix. I'll just go ahead and quantize that to the grid. So this is what it would sound like. And so what you can do from there is you can then use the logic bounce in place and you can make sure just it's right on the grid where you need it to be. Looks like this session might be a hair behind the grid, so you can drag it to wherever it feels feels right. But the point being, that's like a really nice pluck sound. 
You can also do some fun stuff with the pluck sound, like use, use it as an arpeggiator, which is really fun. So let's take that same sound and load an arpeggiator on Logic. You, you notice I'm using this in combination with a lot of other things, and that's how I would encourage you to think of Sample Alchemy. Use it in, co in conjunction with everything else that's in Logic. Like, that's really cool already. That's, it's, it's a little faster than what I want. So you can adjust the speed of the arpeggiator, obviously, in Logic. This could be a really cool... Ooh, I like that. We'll take the reverb off of it and make it like a bass thing. I love that. So we can record that in the chorus. Yeah. That's killer already. You want to be listening on headphones so you can hear kind of the low end of what I'm doing. Man, that already, just that pad and that pluck and that little arpeggiator makes such a huge huge difference and, and th these were made out of an ambulance siren that's how cool this sample alchemy is so um, that essentially is what you can do with a an arp and a pluck let's talk about one more type of sound that you might find really really useful and that is to be able to uh, create a, a melody a lead sound and so in that case Let's see. Let's find something else that has. I'm really what I'm looking for with this is I'm looking for like a, a thing that, that's not a chord, but just like one note. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Good guess. It says synth lead, so we'll, we'll drag it here. And what I love about Sample Alchemy is that you're creating sounds that exist nowhere else. You can't get this sound on Splice. You can't get this sound on... Apple Loops, this is a unique sound that only you have and only you have created. So I love, um, I love that. I'm, I'm a big, big junkie for like just having original, unique sounds that helps you create from a place of new inspiration. Okay, so that's already pretty cool. Let's, let's look at some of these different synthesis modes. So this is granular mode. This is what additive sounds like. More synthy, almost. And then there's spectral. I'm not going to get into what these do because that one's cool. For the sake of this video, I like additive. I might carve off some of the high end a little bit and do do kind of a similar thing what I did before. Add a little bit of a little bit of distortion. That's pretty cool. And just to give it a little movement, um, I like using things like Sidechain. Kickstart 2 is a great plugin you can use with that. Um, really cool. Just gives it a little bit of bounce to it. You can obviously, you know, set it to taste. But this is going to be, let's mess with a little bit of a melody that we could put over top of it, like a counter melody. You know what, I like it just as that call and response thing, so let's do that here. Killer, killer. Yeah, we're not overthinking it too much. We'll just go ahead and give that a quick quantize. I love that. And then from there, like you can mess with, you know, there's there's an there's an infinite amount of settings that you can tweak with if you if you really want to get like granular with it. You can you can explore with things like motion, which allows you to kind of you can basically capture the sound of literally just moving this thing around. I'm not gonna mess with it too much for this video. Trim is a great tool to um, 
that allows you to basically select really precisely which piece of the sound you want to use. For the sake of this melodic synth, that's not going to make as much sense here. Um, but you can do all kinds of fun stuff. You can adjust playback speed if you want to just kind of warp the sound a little bit. It's just giving a little extra character. You can mess with the symmetry. Just tweaks the sound ever so slightly. There you go. The possibilities are kind of endless. Again. So those are some basic ways that you can create a pluck sound, a melodic lead, an arpeggiator, and a pad. You can do so much more with Sample Alchemy than this, but for the sake of this beginner's tutorial for it, I like to think of these tools not in terms of how much they can do, but I like to just boil it down to the simplest possible case uses. The, you, we could do hour-long tutorials where you can get really, really tweaky, and, and, and I encourage you to do that if that's you. But if you're a beginner and the end goal of a tool like this is literally just to create ear candy, new exciting sounds for your productions that inspire you, that take them over the top, and that make them uniquely yours, then I would use it in the way that I just showed you. So I would love to hear in the comments, um, how are you guys using it? How are you using Sample Alchemy? How are you finding it useful in your productions? Um, the other thing that I would point you to is we have done a few videos lately on our channel about some of the new updates in Logic. Logic also came out with an amazing mastering suite, um, so check out that video as well. If this video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. It helps the video spread, helps the channel spread. And once again, if you're interested in becoming a part of a community with other musicians who are working towards amazing songs together, I'd encourage you to check out Song Chasers. Again, that's all at fullcirclemusic.com. You can check it out there. All the details are there. And I hope you have a blast with Sample Alchemy.